Beginnings of a new school year probably mean the continuation of germs in the air. Now's a pretty good time for parents to prioritize their child's health. Local 3's Jeremiah Beatty joins us now in the studio with ways to keep little Johnny and Mary healthy this school year. Jemiah? Calvin, fighting germs is nearly impossible without a healthy immune system. I spoke with a pedi pediatrician who shared advice on healthy habits parents can teach their children. Dr. Eileen Litwin of Happy Healthy Pediatrics in Chattanooga says viruses are always a concern any school year since they are hard to avoid and often contagious. So whenever I talk about things that you can do to prevent your child from getting sick, it is always the basics. She says good hygiene, covering your mouth and nose when coughing, and limiting exposure to others while sick can keep everyone healthy. And luckily, for the most part, viruses don't require antibiotics, so it's just a time thing where you have to get over your symptoms by resting well, eating well, staying hydrated. She says other good habits to build include staying hydrated, eating healthy meals, exercising, and getting plenty of rest. All of these things that I call foundational health are really the best things that we can do in order to make sure that our body can fight off um, illnesses and diseases throughout the year. And while you're teaching healthy habits for the body, don't forget about mental health. She says the start of a new school year can be an adjustment for children. One of the best things that you can do that I always recommend to my families is have dedicated family meal time. So that doesn't have to be dinner time. If it's breakfast, use that time to prepare a meal together, see how everyone's doing and check in with each other. She understands that health may come in last when checking off items to prepare for a new school year. But hopefully these small steps could lead to a successful year. I think that health maintenance is really important at the beginning of the school year because I know as a parent, when things get busy, it's really easy for us to get into habits and ruts that may not be the best for our health. Dr. Litwin also wants to encourage parents to stay up to date with vaccines. She says incorporating daily meals with vitamin C and zinc can boost the immune system. Reporting live, Jeremiah Beatty. All right, thank you, Jeremiah.